everyone! Welcome to QQ News by QQ English. I'm today's host, Sparrow. As a popular tourist destination in Southeast Asia, the unique transportation in the Philippines is undoubtedly a must-see. Today, I'm going to guide you to take a look at the special vehicles here as well as some notes that you should be aware of while taking one. The coolest and the most common vehicle in the Philippines is the jeepney. It features a colorful appearance that would probably make you dizzy. The name jeepney is a combination of jeep and shared taxi, jeepney. Jeepneys don't have stops, but each of it has a fixed route and the route is written on the side of the vehicle. The basic price is 7 pesos. If you want to go to any location in town, it'll cost 30 pesos. And renting it for a whole day will cost 3,000 pesos. Furthermore, because of the higher chassis, it's not a problem for jeepneys to drive through the alleys. But, if you've just arrived in the Philippines, I won't recommend you to take the jeepney alone at night. Besides jeepneys, which accommodate more people, there is another special vehicle called tricycle, which is suitable for one person. It is a three-wheeled taxi and is also very cheap. It just costs around 80 pesos for 20 kilometers. The roads here are very narrow, so tricycles are more flexible than other vehicles. But, same as jeepneys, these tricycles belong to the drivers themselves, so it's not very safe to take it alone at night. The safest way to travel around is taxis. White and yellow taxis are the most common ones. And the yellow one is for airport only. It's the most official one and you can only find it at the airport. The yellow taxi can be charged by meters and the starting price is 70 pesos. Though the price is higher, I'll recommend you to choose this one if it's your first time visiting the Philippines. Thanks to the fair prices, the driver will not detour and the meter machine is well working. As a result, you do not need to worry about your safety. The starting price of white taxi is 40 pesos, but they are seldom charged by meters. The drivers will talk to the passengers actively. Once they make an agreement about the price, the driver will write it down on a small piece of paper and the passengers can get on the taxi right away. But if you take a closer look, you will notice that there are not many people taking the yellow taxis. These taxis are normally more expensive than the white ones. In addition, the Philippines has its own taxi app, Grab Taxi. It is easy to use and the prices are reasonable. The best part of it is that it shows you the roads which you are passing by. It's a great option for those who are not familiar with the roads and worry that the driver might make a detour. This is the end of today's QQ News. If you want to know more information about studying in the Philippines, follow our social media accounts QQ English Language School. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!